There's a trail. Another camper getting ready to pull out. And we'll see what the trail brings this time. I think that's it North Bend there. Woke up with a really stiff back. Oh, here comes the sun. Let's see, I'll go this way. Woke up with a really stiff back, so wasn't real excited. Um, but you know, I feel good. The trail's wonderful. Um, a lot of streams crossing, uh, uphills, downhills. Um, but can't help the back, you know. Um, it's stiff and that's probably the number one thing that I'm dealing with. My legs, knees, feet, everything's fine. Um, good cardio shape. Have the strength. It's just, you know, a, a nagging. It's an old work injury, back injury um, that periodically comes up. And it came up just before I hit the trail, maybe a week before. So waiting for that to uh, to go away and get better. So um, I can just pop up in the morning every morning and just take off and not worry about that pain. But I think I need to stretch more. So that's why I didn't seem too excited this morning. Uh, it's kind of hard getting up at 5, 5.30, 6 every morning and pushing through. But I got to do it and I will do it. Anyway, um, a lot more stream crossings for the first half of the day. And then I'll hit the San Gorgonio mountain range. Um, but right now, just climbing through the, the hills and the, the valleys and the crevices coming down to the, uh, the bottom of the uh, Mission Creek stream. Pretty hike. And you know, the injuries aren't just an age thing. Of course, you know, when you get older, there's wear and tear and, you know, things do happen and it's tougher when you're older. But I don't want to discourage any older hikers to come out if you're, if 
physically able to do it. Um, I know hikers that are complaining about, you know, various injuries that are in their 40s, 30s, even as as young as, you know, mid to high 20s. Um, so it's not it's not always something that'll hold you back. You can work through it, push through it. And, uh, you know, after a mile and a half, two miles, my back's feeling good now. So, you know, it's like anything else. You just gotta work through things. Um, so I'm feeling good in the shade right now. So um, I'm gonna put the camera away and, and push. What do we got? Okay, so there's a bunch of water for the next two miles. Mm -hmm. There's a four mile stretch of no water and then a bunch more miles of water until mile nine. Okay, so we have more to go. Yeah. We don't need to fill up here. How you doing, Ink? Climbing out of Mission Creek now. Uh, some short switchbacks. And then uh, a good climb. Looks like I'll be climbing up there and just following the trail along and around up into the San uh, Gorgonio area. Uh, let's go. Holy hiker trash. This is a good climb. <sighs> Came from way down there. If you follow those trees, the canyon goes down beyond those ridges and hills and it was just uh, switch back and all the way up and climbing and still climbing
We're still climbing, Isa. Oh my God. You got to circle around there and straight up. It's probably the same thing on the other side, yeah. When we get when we get to a peak, you're going to love the view. We can do that. We can. <laughs> hey guys, good morning. So I had a look at my phone calendar to see what day it was. It's Friday, April 15th. Um, to a lot of you, it's uh, tax day. Not to me. Um, not that I don't pay my taxes, but that was all done before I left on this trip. Um, so that's nice. But anyway, camped at the uh, Mission Creek Snow to Sand Campground. Should be a sign coming up here. I'm just leaving camp. It was a really nice place to camp. Um, no trash dumping or restrooms. Um, there was a, um, a spring to get water from. Uh, Water carry uh, from here is, uh, well, long carry, at least 15 miles. I think I'm going to do about 14, 14 and a half today. We'll see. Um, but beautiful morning, uh, beautiful campground. I'll show you around. Camp spot's back over there. And the trail is that way. Anyway, going to be a great day. I decided to hike on my own today. Um, it's nice when you're alone, and, you know, a lot of self-reflection and just enjoy, enjoy nature at your own pace. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, <laughs> after eating a, a good meal, sometimes it's hard to get a, a fast start, so I'm breaking it in slowly.
descended down and about uh, now at mile about 246.4 should be coming up to uh, Coon's cabin shortly maybe another two tenths of a mile I'll take a little lunch break here restroom that is nice it's locked what good is that Kind of spooky. There are dead people in here. I can see bright eyes coming. Should I? <laughs> oh no, maybe I shouldn't. Oh, I thought, you're, I thought you were Isa. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. That sucks. <laughs> you got me. That's oh, for man. Sure. What's your name? I'm uh, Scrub J. What's your name? Scrub J. Manny. Manny, nice and to I was meet gonna, you. I was going to put this on YouTube on my channel. Well, you can bit. still put it on YouTube. Are you okay with it? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> J. Scrub J. So I just scared the hell out of Scrub J, and it, yeah. was, it was supposed to be Bright Eyes. <laughs> oh man. Well, I think my eyes are a little bit open now, so. Are you cool? Are you good with that? Yeah, yeah I'm good. Okay, now. all right. You're going to see yourself on, uh, on YouTube now. Oh. Nice. It was supposed to be you that I was supposed to scare. <laughs> Thank you. And he took it. He took it well. So, okay, what did you say? He would 100% deserve that. He does that shit to me all the time. Oh, does he? Okay, you finally got it her, back. Her dying sound is going to be. <laughs> What's your name? Fleur. Fleur? Okay. Hey, well, nice catching up to us, because yeah. if, if you wouldn't have, we wouldn't have had so much fun. <laughs> what the... This probably was a nice place at one time. What you gonna make over there, Compass? I already made it. My peanut butter and dried fruit sandwich. All right. Quasi peanut butter and jelly. I'm gonna have to My cook. Cocktail. Okay. I'm gonna have to cook up some ramen. I feel like having ramen. Yeah, some, some Ichiban. Back on trail after lunch, climbing out of Coon's cabin. Climbing up on mile 248 now. Still have a really nice view. You know, the downhill descent so easy to film and hold the camera. Uh, uphill, when I'm climbing, I normally don't film it because I, I'm using both hands and both trekking poles to trudge up the, uh, the uphills. 
but the downhills are real easy to, to film. Um, I mean, obviously, I go uphill to get up those mountains, but it's just uh, sometimes not even safe to try to hold a camera in your hand. But, you know, I do have a GoPro. I just didn't bring it because it's for the weight. The battery life just isn't there. You got to carry so many batteries, they just wear down so quick. So anyway, just thought I'd throw that out there because it's real, real easy to do this. Kind of like it when the trail is like this. You catch your breath, relax, and meander. It's also a good time to uh, pick up some speed and crush some miles when you got a slight decline. Might as well. Unless you want to cruise and just check out the scenery, you can probably do both. About 3.30 p.m. Coming up to mile 250. And there it is. Only 2,400 miles left. Yes, and there's Donna, the sweetest trail angel in the world, and uh, I'm off to the barbecue. I got to get the steaks. Oh man, I, I better not screw up these steaks. I don't know, 350, 450? I don't know. I hike. Darn, do I do I flip them now or what? Ugh. I'm stressed. I need to get back on trail. Finished product. Mmm. Uh, they look good? Owl. Yeah? Yes. Okay. And I'm thinking, oh my god. Peaches can't have any. Peaches don't work. <laughs> he said 